Hi, my name is Heather Havenwood and welcome to Heather Havenwood TV. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about who cares if they think you're a bitch. And to start it off, I'm gonna start with a quote. I'm tough and vicious and I know exactly what I want. If that makes me a bitch, okay, Madonna. To be strong in business, you have to be tough. And if you're tough, then other people think you're the B, the B word. Not necessarily true, but that's how they perceive you. And so many times women pull back, we pull back versus lean in on what exactly that we want and how do we be strong in business, tough in life, go after what we want, own our life and own who we are, and including our sexuality without people perceiving us as a bitch. How do you do that? This is how you do it. Who cares if they think you're a bitch? The real source of your strength as a person or as a woman in business is your own personal strength. And as long as that's aligned with who you are, what you're up to, your mission, people will start to say negative things. In fact, I would say that if someone's not upset at you right now in your life, or if someone's saying anything that's not like, hey, you're doing this wrong, or I can't believe you're going after that, or that's a horrible thing to do, then I would say you're not playing big enough. So I wanna make sure that you understand, for me, some elements of success. Two elements of success of owning your life and being the boss of your life. And that is burning desire plus persistent, continuous action of going after what you want. You first have to break free of a poverty consciousness. We as a society are actually taught poverty is okay. Being broke is all right. It's okay. As long as you have a big heart, it's okay that you're broke. It's not okay. It's not okay to go through life with that poverty consciousness. It's okay to save pennies. It's, a, it's okay to not spend lavishly on something, but it's the poverty consciousness of who you are that's just not okay. And it's not aligned with who you really are. Here in the United States, we're taught more of the poverty consciousness I think then in, in, in most in most countries, because lots of countries they actually talk about go after what you want, go after your dreams, go to the United States and come here and create a business and opportunity. Here sometimes in the United States, we're taught safety and security rather than opportunity and ambition and the dream. If this is a time for you to own that, yeah, you could be kind of a bitch, but you are congruent with who you are, Now's the time. Because I promise you, Madonna one day didn't wake up and say, I really would like to be powerful and the queen of pop, but that means I might have to be a bitch. And then she rolled back in her bed and just crawled underneath the covers. So again, who are you to pull back and say, well, I want people to see me as nice. So it's gonna stop you from your creativity and really becoming the boss of your life. There's always a 100% guarantee that other people, men and women included, they will perceive you as a bitch only because you've been able to break free from your poverty consciousness and create money and be able to be self-sufficient. So let me say this, to hell with the status quo. Yes, I said it. Now ladies, what you might understand is that I was born and raised in Houston, Texas, a very Southern Baptist upbringing where I was taught to be a very good little girl and sweet and kind and never cuss and just be that sweet little girl. Now you're wondering, a lot of my friends were wondering, what happened to me? Uh, but honestly, it's because of that upbringing that I question the status quo. Why be the good little girl? What is that gonna get me? Going after what I want is what I desire. Why would I stay small in my life? So why am I telling you this? this is, there's a fundamental shift happening right now. There's truly a fundamental shift of life happening right now because now is the time more than ever. For people in life, for people in our world, 
to own not only themselves, but own their creativity, own their inventions, own what they want to do, own their ideas. This is the time that for you to go after what you want in career, business, life, fitness, and love. Because if you don't, who will? No one's going to give you permission. You've got to choose to give yourself permission to do that. And you know what? Who cares if they think you're a bitch? This is Heather Havenwood. Be you. Be real. Be the boss of your life.